The situation in the East African country of Sudan is growing more dire by the hour. Hundreds have been killed since fighting broke out a week ago between Sudan's military and rival factions in the country. On Sunday, the U.S. closed its embassy and airlifted diplomats and their families out by helicopter. But the U.S. said getting an estimated 16,000 U.S. citizens out was too risky and has advised them to shelter in place. And that violence is on the minds of families worried about their loved ones, including here in southern Nevada. Fox 5's Shauna Kalafi spoke to a Pahrump family whose son, his wife, and child are now trying to get out of Sudan safely. Shauna. That's right. Eric Fritz Jr. and his wife are both teachers in Sudan. This is a photo of Eric and his 12 year old daughter. They all live there and for the last week his parents in Pahrump have been making calls to the embassy to senators trying to get their son's family out of danger. My daughter in law and my granddaughter were probably scared out of their minds. You know, I mean, to have this happen right where you're at, it's it's uh, horrific. Violence in Sudan hitting close to home for a couple in Pahrump, whose son is stuck in Sudan with his wife and 12-year-old daughter. Amid clashes in the country, the U.S. closed its embassy and airlifted diplomats and their families out by helicopter on Sunday. But they said getting an estimated 16,000 U.S. citizens out was too risky and advised them to shelter in place. That's exactly what Eric Fritz Jr.'s mother was told when she wrote to the embassy for help. They said, oh, Tell them to stay put, go on the lower level, stay away from the windows. You're not going to help them? So Eric and his family made their way 85 miles without any assistance, running low on food and water for three days until they reached a small town near the Egyptian border. They were in such a rush to get out, they forgot their passports. All right, and they couldn't go back because the place was being bombed at the time. But even with those passport copies, they're still having issues reaching the embassy in Egypt to help them cross the border. Eric's mother says she's now in contact with Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, trying to get them out of Sudan and back to safety. When Eric's parents spoke to him just this morning, he assured them that the small town his family is now in is safe. But just a few hours later, they found out that Eric was hit with a rubber bullet. He's badly bruised, but doing all right. And we're working to get in touch with Eric himself to hear more from him. John and Kim.